This is a theremin. Invented in 1920 by Russian physicist Leon Theremin, it was the world's first electronic instrument. It's also the only instrument that's played without being touched. The proximity of the player's hands to the two antenna determines the pitch and volume of the sounds produced. And whether you know it or not, you've heard the eerie theremin before. It became popular in those 1950s science fiction movie soundtracks that sound so cheesy today. The theremin may not have achieved widespread adoption, but it sure has a lot of retro wow factor. I've always been curious about the theremin. Luckily, with some recent advances in technology, I've been able to make one of my own. To be more precise, what I created is a theremin simulator using my laptop computer, my Roland JV1080 synthesizer, and the Wiimote control from our Wii gaming console. At $35, the Wiimote is an amazing piece of technology. It contains an infrared camera in the front which can track up to four infrared LEDs at a time. Knowing this, I bought a pair of black gloves and I hooked up a couple infrared LEDs to just one and a half volt batteries. And I poked one through the tip of the index finger of each glove. Then I connect my Wiimote to my computer. Amazingly, the Wiimote also supports Bluetooth connections, which opens up a whole world of hacking possibilities. Using some freely available software for connecting the Wiimote, I wrote a program which detects the two infrared gloves and converts the vertical position of the left hand to volume and converts the horizontal position of the right hand to pitch. That information is then sent via MIDI to the synthesizer, which makes the actual sound. And with a real theremin, pitch is not created by moving your hand left and right, but by moving your hand forward and backward. So I just position the Wiimote off to the left at an angle, and then I get virtually the same effect as a real theremin. My software also shows the position of the left and right hands on screen. That way I can keep my hands in range of the Wiimote's visible area. Aside from just being a musical instrument for playing melodic music, the theremin is often used for sound effects. It has a lot of expressive control and about a three or four octave pitch range. Now if you combine that, as I've done with the synthesizer, you get a huge range of sounds that you can control in a very natural way. Most sound effects are created with a keyboard, which doesn't give anywhere near as much expression as what I'm able to generate right here. As you can see, this would be very effective for movies and other types of situations where you wanted to create very unusual sound effects that you haven't heard before. The theremin's a great instrument. If you ever have the chance to play one, definitely do it. The one thing I've learned, though, is that while it may seem simple in practice, it's extremely hard to play well. <laughs>